Since Blender Power Sequence uh, 1.2, we have a new tool to generate proxies very efficiently and a little better than with Blender. So using all your processing power, uh, but it's smarter than that, you will see. So it's available as a standalone tool, so any team can use it, and it's not limited to Blender. It's a tool to generate proxy videos. Now, to use it, you'll need a recent version of FFmpeg. Uh, if you're on Linux, it's available via your package manager, and chances are you already have it installed. But on Windows, I recommend this website. It's ffmpeg.zeranoa.com, link in the description and you can download builds for Windows and Mac, and you can always download recent versions of the program. To install the tool, it's simple. If you have Python inst installed, you can call pip install pps proxy, like so. It's going to install automatically, so you can see it's installed on my computer. From there, you can call it as BPS proxy dot exe on windows or just the bps proxy command and i'm going to show you how to call it from python straight from the version you find in the add-ons folder so now i'm going to go to the bps proxy repositories folder right now but note that you can install it with pip so you can access it globally from the command line at the moment and open it in my command line let me explain why this tool is useful and why we have it. The proxies in Blender can be very heavy and not of a super high quality. They also take a long time to generate and they don't respect the transparency of PNG images. So that's why we had a small tool in Power Sequencer to generate them until now. Now it's been improved and so even if you have many folders with some footage you know, scattered around your computer, this tool is going to go into the entire tree based on the folder that you give it. It's going to find all the videos and generate proxies for them. So I'm going to copy the path to this folder and this is the folder I'm going to give to the tool. So I'm going to type in this case python-mbps proxy because I'm in this folder in the command line. I want to call this bps proxy folders content as a python module and then it needs the path to the folder you want to find the video files in, followed by some options. The first option is size, dash s. You can generate proxies at 25%, that's the default, and you can enter multiple sizes, up to three. Note that if you generate multiple sizes, we use a special feature in FFmpeg that's going to make it faster to generate multiple proxies together. If you only use 25%, the default, you don't have to use the option. Then you have a dash P preset parameter that you can input. The default one is Lebex264. It's going to generate H264 footage. Well, it's just optimized for Blender. It runs on the CPU. Now, if you have an NVIDIA GPU and a compatible build of FFmpeg, you can use NVENC which creates slightly less precise proxies, but it's going to use your graphics card to generate them, meaning that you can keep working, keep using your processor while you generate lots of proxies in the background. You need a compatible GPU or sure, but sometimes it's, it's quite convenient to use that. It's also very fast if you generate multiple sizes compared to the processor. It's going to be four or five times faster if you generate three sizes at the same time, in my experience at least. And you have one last option for WebM if you want to use an open source codec, but uh, basically the default will do the job in this case. So I'm going to press enter with this folder passed to the tool. So where I have two subfolders, I already have some proxy in there, uh, half generated, press enter. The tool is going to check for existing proxies for all the files. And for that, it uses FFprobe, a tool that comes with FFmpeg. And then it starts processing and rendering the videos. So it's going to do that on the processor at the moment. And it's going to take a little bit of time as the videos I am creating proxies for are quite long. But for example, for a 10 seconds video, sometimes it takes less than one second to generate the proxy. For now, the tool doesn't check the current progress on the current video. 
but it will give you an estimate of the time it's going to take per file as it finishes processing each of them. So it's going to give you an average. When you shoot outdoor with the camera, it works really well. Uh, if you make longer recordings like we do for GD Quest, just let it run in the background. Here I have a small folder where I generated the proxies already. And for each of these four shots, these four short shots, I have a 25 and 50% proxy. So now I'm going to call the command again, but change the folder where I had already generated the proxies and input the same base sizes and use the NVENC presets. And if I press enter, it's going to check for existing proxies. And there you can see all proxies exist. Um, so nothing to process. So the tool can be smart about that. Please, it needs testing. If you find any bug with the tool, you can report it on the Power Sequencer Issues Tracker here, or you can go to the BPS Proxy Repository straight. Uh, this is very important, right? The more testing it gets, the better the tool we can make. So for now, it's standalone. Same thing, we want to integrate it in Blender. If you want to help with that, you are welcome. We'll help you write the code as well. Uh, always on our projects, contributors are super welcome. But that said, thank you kindly for watching. Be creative, have fun. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.